Tanner Beeson. Forcing the connection with Cascante. Cascante, former Portland Timber. And there's a drive. And there it is. Maxi Aruti. And in the 12th minute, Austin FC goes on top, 1-0. Look, the way that the Earthquakes try to solve this is they have their defensive center mid drop back, but Jackson Yule just doesn't have the presence of mind to do that as quickly as he needs to in order to put some pressure on to Maxi Arudi. That's just an ambitious shot, but it's opportunistic, and he's able to catch JT Marcinkowski off his line. JT Lima. Wolf off to the races on the right. Plenty of bodies at the far post. Wolf. Dummy from Ring. Lima. Here's Pereira. Oh! Off the crossbar and in. What an introduction for Daniel Pereira. The defensive midfielder finds the breakthrough goal. And Austin FC have the lead. It was a lot of space just outside that box. I was looking at, I believe, Jerusi. I thought he was going to get the ball. Comes to Pereira. He's got a lot of time. He sizes it up. And just knuckles it. That's a beautiful hit. You see how it just leaves his foot and then it dips. Let's have a look how he's hit this. Straight on. Not much spin on the ball. That is nearly impossible to stop. Oh, that's actually enjoyable to watch. Reminiscent, not necessarily by the way that he hit it, but of Efren Alvarez's winner when the LA Galaxy won here in that inaugural home match. Red Bulls midfield, isn't it? It's Fagundes. Sets up, ring. Let the ball slip under his foot. And now he has it back. Triusi. Taking it on. And taking it again! Well, he's a miracle worker! Are you kidding me with this goal? Sebastian Triusi skins. Drew Yearwood sends him back to North Jersey, and what a hit this was. He picks his head up, and he knuckles that ball in the back of the net. Goes for power, the technique, and it's a one-man show for Austin. Oh, come on, I should say for Gabrielson, who was on the yellow, remember the long throw from Gallagher. Felipe's first touch is to hook it back in, and who's on? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Sublime finish from the Dutchman. And another second half comeback. He was onside, clearly onside. And credit to Danny Hoosen for timing his run and Alex Ring for coming back to keep that play alive. Danny Hoosen, that's just a class finish, a striker's finish. First time Bali knows where the goalkeeper is, knows where the goal is, and that's just a striker. Just over half an hour played in the battle of the top two in the West. A night of heightened tensions. For Gundes! A night of heightened skills too! A gem of a free kick. Indeed, a highly polished jewel of one. Josh Wolf has got a lot of juice out of every single squeeze in this roster, and that includes Diego Fagundes, who is in the abyss in New England, has come here, been a fan favorite, has worked his tail off, and has come up with big goals in big moments. The biggest game in Austin FC's history. The same person that scored the first goal in Austin FC history.